This video is about calculating the surface area and volume of a sphere in hemisphere and calculating the surface area and volume of a composite figure. So first we need some vocab so we know what these shapes are. So a sphere is the set of all points in three dimension that are equidistant away from the center point. The radius is the distance from the center to the sphere. The great circle, as we see here, that's half solid and half dashed because we're looking through the three-dimensional figure, is the circle that contains the diameter of the hemisphere, of, sorry, of the sphere. And then a hemisphere is half of a sphere. So think about like if you took an orange and cut that in half, you would be creating a hemisphere. So for spheres, to find your total surface area, is going to be 4 pi r squared. And then for volume, is going to be 4 thirds pi r cubed. So one way to help you remember this is that surface area is going to have r squared because it's units squared. And volume is going to have r cubed because it's units cubed. So in number one, to find our total surface area, we have a radius of 12, so it would be 4 pi 12 squared. So you're going to do 12 squared times 4. And we get 7, sorry, 576 pi feet squared. For your volume, it is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So 4 thirds pi 12 cubed, which will get us 2,304 pi feet cubed. In number two, 30 is the diameter, which means if we bisect it to get our two radius, it's 15 and 15. So your total surface area is 4 pi 15 squared, which will get you 900 pi inches squared. And the volume is 4 thirds pi cubed, so 4 thirds 15 cubed, which gets you 4,500 pi inches cubed. In number three, find the volume of a sphere with the surface area of, 40, of 144 pi meters squared. So we can use this to find our radius. So we would have 144 pi equals 4 pi r squared. We can divide both sides by 4 pi. We get 36 equals r squared. Take the square root and our radius is 6. Once you know the radius is 6, to get our volume, it is 4 thirds pi 6 cubed, which would be 288 pi meters cubed. Now, for a hemisphere, when we do surface area, that's not just half of our sphere. Because the hemisphere, we have this part, which is half of the sphere. But we also now have this other part inside it. So when I think about doing the surface area, I think about this part, which is the bowl, that outer shell. And then this is our lid. So you can think about the hemisphere in two parts when you're trying to do a surface area. Volume, though, when you're trying to fill it, that is just half of the sphere. So if the sphere is 4 thirds, half of that is 2 thirds to get our volume. So let's use the formulas to find our surface area and volume. Number four, our radius is 15. We have 2 pi 15 squared plus pi 15 squared. So I would do those separately and then add them together and I get 675 pi meters squared. To get our volume, it is 2 thirds pi 15 cubed. That's going to be 2,250 pi meters cubed. In number 9, we have a radius of 9. So 2 pi 9 squared plus pi 9 squared. That would get us 243 pi cubed. And then for volume, we have 2 thirds pi 9 cubed, which gets us 486 pi cubed. Now let's look at some composite figures. So a composite figure is just one or more shapes that are stacked together to create something. So in number six, we kind of have what looks like an ice cream cone. 
So we want to find the surface area and the volume of the composite solid. So here we have a hemisphere on top of a cone. Now, when we're doing surface area, we need to think a little bit more about it because we can't just use our total surface area equations because we're not painting the overlapping part that's in here. So really, we want to think about like lateral area and the outside part of a hemisphere. So in this case, we want the surface area of the bowl of our hemisphere, this part over here, plus we want the lateral area of the cone. So remember when we talked about the equation for the hemisphere, we said the bowl part is going to be the 2 pi r squared, and the lateral area of a cone is 1 half perimeter times slant height. So if we look at our cone, we know that we have everything for this equation right now, so we can substitute in. So we have 2 pi 3 squared plus 1 half. Remember the perimeter of a circle is your circumference, so 2 pi 3 times the slant height of 5. So we get 18 pi plus 15 pi, which is 33 pi centimeters squared. Now, when we do volume, volume's easier because we are dealing with the exact shapes we have. So when we're doing volume, we're doing the volume of the hemisphere plus the volume of the cone. So the volume of the hemisphere is 2 thirds pi r cubed and the volume of the cone is one-third base area times height. Now, before we can substitute in, we need to know the height of the cone. So we're going to do Pythagorean theorem. 5 squared equals 3 squared plus x squared. So 25 equals 9 plus x squared. 16 equals x squared. So x is 4. Our height is 4. So we have 2 thirds pi 3 cubed plus 1 third pi 3 squared, because remember our base is a circle, times the height of 4. So we get 18 pi plus 12 pi, so our volume is going to be 30 pi centimeters cubed. So in number 7, to do our surface area, we're going to have this outside part here, which is that bowl of the hemisphere. We have the lateral area of our cylinder, but then we also have this base down here. So our surface area is going to be the surface area of the bowl plus the lateral area of the cylinder plus the area of the circle. So surface area of the bowl is 2 pi r squared. The lateral area of the cylinder is perimeter times height, and then the area of the circle is pi r squared. So we know that 30 is the diameter, which makes the radius of the circle and the hemisphere 15. So if I draw a radius from my hemisphere going this way, we know that's 15. So the height, if I subtract 35 minus 15, the height of our cylinder is 20. So now we can use our equation. So we would have 2 pi 15 squared plus... 2 pi 15 times 20 plus pi 15 squared, which gets us 450 pi plus 600 pi plus 225 pi, and add it together, that gets us 1,275 pi meters squared. For the volume, again, the volume's easier because we're just looking at the exact shapes. We have the volume of the hemisphere plus the volume of the cylinder. So the volume of a hemisphere is 2 thirds pi r cubed, and the volume of the cylinder is base area times height. So we would have 2 thirds pi 15 cubed, plus the base of our cylinder is a circle, so we would have pi 15 squared times the height of 20. So that gets us 2,250 2, pi plus 4,500 pi. So our volume would be 6,750 pi meters cubed. Now let's look at a quick application problem. So in number eight, a single cone of ice cream at Wilson's Ice Cream Shop 
has a radius of 3 centimeters. The cone that it rests on has a height of, 15, of 13 centimeters and a radius of 3. Find the volume of the cone. So when you have a cone, remember your ice cream scoop is going to be a sphere. So to find the volume, that is going to be 4 thirds pi r cubed. So 4 thirds pi 3 cubed, which gets us 36 pi centimeters cubed. The volume of the cone is one third base area times height. So we have one third pi three squared times the height of 13, and that's going to give us 39 pi centimeters cubed. So if the ice cream were to melt, and we're saying this is a perfect world and all the ice cream melts not down your hand, but into the cone perfectly, how much empty space would there be in the cone? So if the cone is bigger, we have 39 pi minus 36 pi, which would get us 3 pi centimeters cubed of empty space. What percent of the cone is filled? So just like when you're trying to find your test score, we can do the volume of the ice cream divided by the total volume, and that's going to equal 92%. So we subtract from 100, we get the empty then is 8%.